कंप्यूटर विल ऑटोमेटिकली चेंज द लोकेशन बट इन द केस ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट इट इज फिक्स्ड यू कैन सी द इफेक्ट हियर एंड वन नंबर लुक हियर हियर इज सम वैल्यू नेम इज गिवन फैसल इज मार्क इज 85 अब्दुल रहमान 75 एंड अब्दुल्ला 70 मार्क नाउ इफ यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट 20% of 85 20% of 75 20% of 70 you don't want to write this value again and again you want this value should be as it is but it can be used for everywhere what to do click here write the formula like this equal to C seven, C seven. After that, shift and eight. So you will get a star. Column C and row eight. Star, asterisk. Then this one. Press enter. Press enter. You will get it. The value, twenty percent of that value. Look here. Equal to this into this, seventeen. If you copy or if you drag this formula, this value will be zero zero. Its the reason is Allah for you. Its the reason is that computer will automatically take. This is F three, F four, F five. That is relative. I will drag and I will show you. Look here. It's zero zero. Okay. Why it is zero zero? Here you see F three. Here it is F four. Here it is F five. This is relative. In this case, computer automatically takes this location F three, then F four, F five. Next one. Next one. But if you want, this should be fixed. What to do? Put the dollar sign before and after the letter F, like this. Put the dollar sign like this. Dollar F, dollar three. This one dollar F and dollar three. Enter. Now you drag this formula and see the effect. See effect here. It is fixed. This is fixed. Okay. Next skill, what you are going to learn using date function. You should do it with me. Okay. Do it together using date function here. Uh, what is the date today? December third. December five, two thousand twelve. Either you can write or you can insert. I will insert. Click here. Go to this function here. More functions. Here you see date and time. Can you see date? Date. I want date function. 
click OK. It is telling year. Year. You write the year. Which year now? 2012. 2012. I'll close this door. 2012. Year is here. Then write down month here. Which month now? December. 12. Then what is the date today? Five. And click here. Okay, you see this date will come, but it is giving you month, date, year. You want date, month, year. What to do? Day, month, year. Now, right now it is showing you month, then date, then year. You want to change it. What to do? Go to here. You can click on this one. Okay, it will come on. Take some time and it will display. You okay. see, it will take some time and it will display the dialog box. In this dialog box, you choose date and its type. What you want? You want date, then month, for example, this. Date, month, and then year. Click OK. You will see 5 December 2012. Here it is showing you just 12. You want 2012. What to do? Click it. Go same place. Date you want from for your, your style. Custom. Select. And delete this one. You want date. Then month. Then year, four digit for year. <coughs> okay, you see, five December two thousand twelve. Before it was five December twelve. You can put it. You can adjust the date format. Next skill you are going to learn if function. Yes, using if function was done. Yes. I think you will not do the mistake next time yeah, when you solve this one. Piras yeah. and uh, Ahmed Thayyab, yeah. look here. Okay. Here, condition is if the value is true, it should be A plus, if false, A. Here is marks 15, 13, 12, 15, and so on. Here, great. You want A plus if the value is more than or equal to 15. But A if the value is less than 15. How to enter this? Click here. Go to logical function. Or you can here. write the formula. You can write or you can go to here. It is writing sum. I want logical function from here. Here. Go to logical. See, here logical function will be there. Logical function if. Click OK. If. If this greater. Shift and this one greater. Or equal to. Shift and this? Shift and in Arabic it is ray, I think. Greater or equal to. What number 15? Then here you want to write, means if the condition is true, then it should be A plus. A and plus sign will come with this. Shift uh, equal. And if otherwise, if the condition is false, it should be A. See, it is coming A plus. Why? Because this value is more or equal to 15. If you drag this formula, drag this formula to remaining cells. Like this. You see, here it is uh, A, here it is A plus. 
mm -hmm. one a and a plus y it is here you see this value is less than 15 this is less than 15 this is less than 15 that's why it is a and here it is more or equal to 15 that's why it is a plus next step is using max function min function and all if there is a large there are large numbers maybe 1000 numbers and very minor difference you want the largest number in that numbers what you will do what's done look here max right yeah you will write the function max what to do you can Equal. use from here no it's easier to write it max it's easier but uh, max better. From here, select this range. Select the range from where you want, or you can write max from here to here. Press enter. You will get the largest number. Here, this function is used max. Here, you want minimum. So, what to do? Equal. Equal. Min. Min. Then uh, bracket. Uh, then uh, choose the range. Range Press and enter. close. You the get the enter. Love it. One more is count. Equal. Count. 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 Then Choose the range. Yeah. You will get. See. Max function will give you largest number. Min function will give you smallest number. And count function will give you how many numbers are there. Okay. Next you see this word. Rayan. Can you see this word? Okay. Allah. Yeah, I can. Can you see this word and this number? Yeah. What is the relation between these two? Allah and Raji is tell. Tell me. Yes. What's the difference? What is the relation between this 17 and this word? Why? Why it is 17? Why it is this? Um, number of characters. Number of letters. If you want to count number of letters in a word. The function is length. Yes. L E N. Length means length. Yeah. What to do? Equal. Equal. Length. Right. Right down like this. Equal. Length. Length. The bracket. And bracket. Then choose. Uh, choose the, the word. Cell and the uh, press enter. Okay. Press enter. You will get the number of letters and in spaces the also, word, including space. Here, yeah, 17. Yes. Good, you are doing together? Yes. Good. Is it coming, Allah? Is it coming, yeah, Allah? Yeah, coming. Good. See, here is Salman and here is a small letter. Here is a small letter, here is capital letter. Excel provides some functions by using that you can change any word in a small letter as well as from a small to capital letter. The function which change from capital to small is is called this one lower. The function which change from small to capital is called upper. Okay? Just click there, write down equal. Write down equal. Lower. 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 Yes, equal. Lower bracket. Lower. Well, E Choose R bracket. Shift and this bracket. Choose the word. Well, cell and and enter. press enter. Yes. Press enter. E it will be small letter. Equal. Similarly, you can do for capital. Uh, Equal. Yeah. Uh, upper. Uh, and choose bracket. this word. Look here. Here are some veget name of some categories are there. Here some foods. Here some values. I want to add values based on the category. How to add it? In order to do that, I want one more row, uh, one more column to be inserted. Two more columns. To Two more name columns. And, uh, I want. How to insert the column? Extra column. Right click. Or. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, click and go to insert. Insert column. Insert column. It will come. Or just if you click, it will come. Right click, then insert. Then right click, come. insert. It will come. Okay. Here. In this one. Condition is. I want to add these values based on this condition. Yeah. Okay. The function is sum if. Mm -hmm. Function is sum if. You can insert from here. Uh, click there, then click here, more functions, you can see sum if. You can search it, you can, write it yeah. you can write it, it will come. Or you can go to all the functions, all functions, and function is sum if. Sum if. Okay. In logical? All, all. Choose all, then sum it. Okay. Range is from here to here, you see? Range. Okay. Criteria, I want fruit. F R U I T S. Then come on. Range from where? Yeah. Range is from this one, B45 to B50. This is range. Criteria is fruits. Fruits. And range. This value, what you want to add? This value. Press enter key. Do I have to put the last huh? No. So see what is does. See the formula and the value. See the formula. First understand, then do it. Formula is sum if. Sum if from where here to here. See sum if from here to here. Criteria condition is fruit. Fruit. All you want. Uh, and fruit. this. Only I want the sum of <coughs> the fruits. How much it is? 800. How much it is? 1200. That's why it is coming 2000. It will add the values based on this condition. Okay. You can do it for vegetables. Try it for vegetables yourself. Next, here you see, in this case you will learn the function count if. What it does, you look at it. Write down the function count if. Count if. Yeah, equal to. Count if. Yeah. Count if from where range? range here equal to here. To Criteria. Criteria means apples or apples you take. Then range. Enter. Look here. Click. Count if. Count if you can insert this function from here. Here, more functions. Count if. Count if. Ah, here. Count if. Count if. Okay. Range. It is telling range. Choose this range. Here criteria. In criteria, you can write the word. What? Based on what word you want to do the. Yeah. Counting. So I want now. Apple. Uh, choose another word, maybe mm -hmm. orange. Orange. Yes, oranges. Click OK. So you will get that value. I think due to the memory. Out of memory it is coming, but it will start. Okay. So you'll see here, it is coming one. Oh, yeah. One because oranges is one time appear in the list. Okay. Next step is now you are going to learn about conditional formatting. Means to do formatting to do color and all in the sheet in the cells based on some conditions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. First of all we will select this all yep. and we will apply the effect. You see? Select this all. Yeah then Basudan. Look here. Conditional formatting. We will apply different rules to this range. Highlight, 
cell rules if the value is greater than 20 see greater than uh, 20 look here 20 it is coming too much if the value is greater than 20 20 yeah then the color will be we will choose another color yellow filled with dark yellow text more than 20 yellow filled with dark yellow text you see click ok you see the effect values yeah. which is more than 20 is this color apply another effect click here apply cell rule if the value is less than another condition is if the value less than what to do yeah. uh, remove this one less than 20 give another condition choose here light, light red fill click ok you see is it fit? Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different more. Yeah. So you can apply conditions based on this one. Here, you have a table. This table, you want to decorate, to give some style. You can do it very easily by using the format as table. Choose this one. Select this table. Tala. Select this table, go to format as table and choose here whatever style you want. I want this one. So you see, this style will be applied to this table. You see, table is this style. Yeah. Here you see, in this case you will learn cell style. Cell style. We will apply different style on this one. To do that, first of all, copy and paste. Copy and paste this one. See, this cell is style. This cell is style. Style. Title style. Go to cell style. I want title style. It is like this. For this one, you can apply another one. Uh, say heading one. Any one. 20% this one say heading one no problem hyperlink or heading one okay this one say you can apply different style to different cells that is the use of this cell style mm -hmm. uh, this okay next come to this one this data is arranged this data is not arranged you want this data arranged in ascending order. In order ascending, yeah. ascending order means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or A, B, C, D, up to Z. Yeah. And what I can do it in uh, descending. Yeah, you can do it in descending. I will show you both. To do that, select this all. First of all, select it. Like this. Ascending. Select this. Go to sort and filter. Click on smallest to largest. C it is arranged. Ascending. If you want opposite here, largest to smallest, descending order, okay? Ascending 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, descending 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. This is the smallest to largest. Next step is here you see uh, filter, filter some data. Yeah. It is required. When you have large amount of data and you want some data for your work, you don't want everything. Yeah. In order to do that, Excel provides a facility called, called filter. What to do? Click here. Yeah. Go to sort and filter. <coughs> and here is filter. Apply filter tool. Yes. Here you can choose the number, choose the values you require. Click here. Yes. Everything is selected. Yes. That's it. Or yes. somebody. Tell me what are the values required. 50. I select all. I want 50 is already there. 100. Then 100. 150. 150. 200. 250. 300. 350. 400. 450. 450. Yes. No, no, no. no. Yes. yes. See. In this case, remaining values are hidden. 
these values, remaining values are hidden, but the required value is with us, that is filter. You want to remove the filter, similarly you can do. Go here, go to the same place, Clear. click on the filter, it will be removed. And last topic for today is, it is replace. find and replace. In next class you will study insert. Okay? Yeah. Find and replace. I want to find the word uh, hockey and replace with the word football. How to do that? Click here, go, go to, to find, find and select. Find. find. Want to find the word hockey, type it, it will be easy. Find the word hockey. Find the word hockey, H-O-C-K. And replace with the word football. Replace all. Okay, See, so. computer will give you the message. Yeah. Excel has completed search and replaced. It oh. is similar to your word. Oh. But, the same. but if you want to find any word in any sheet in the workbook, you can go to options and choose here workbook. If the word is anywhere, it will give you. Mm -hmm. If you want to find the word by column, by rows, you can get it. If you want match case, only capital letter you want, or only small, you can match it. Yeah. Okay. So this is all about your home tab. And now, we will continue, we will finish insert tab. Insert tab you will study in next class, because there is no time. Next class you will study insert tab illustration and mainly for chart group. If there is time, you will study remaining tabs, uh, remaining for a group also. It's uh, almost the same as the uh, word. Yeah, same as the word. Yes, uh, Ahmed. Yes. Muhammad. Muhammad.